As you can see right here, this is my own all the mods 9 to the sky server. And if you don't believe me, let me just go ahead and kick myself out. Type kick it tuba, hit enter. And as you can see, we've been kicked bang up because this is my server. I'm going to show you how to create a free all the mods 9 to the sky server in this video. Let's go ahead and get started. Step number one to create a server for all the mods 9 to the sky is to click the second link in the description. In here, you're going to scroll down and you're going to find the game version that you want the server for. As of right now, we only have 1.20.1. So find the most recent one and then click on this little file naming here. That is going to bring you over here where we're going to scroll down and click additional files and then that is going to show you the server file in here right so server 1.0.1 and we're just going to click on this little three dots and click download file and that'll begin the download for the server file of all the mods 9 to the sky by the way let's go ahead and try and drop this file into the desktop now once we finish downloading okay guys before we keep going i do have to let you know the server that we're about to make it's a server where you're gonna have to use your own computer and keep it on 24 7 if you want your friends to join at any moment and you're gonna have to pour forward your ip address as you might know you don't want to be giving out your IP address to strangers as they could do bad things with it. And that is why if you're looking for a better service and a more safe server, well, that's where Apex Hosting comes in. If you want a server for all the mods 9 to the sky, Apex Hosting is the perfect service for you. Not only do they have locations all around the world, so you don't have to worry about lagging or anything like that. Their server are hosted online, which means that they are completely protected for you. Now, you can set up your ATM 9 to the sky server in less than five minutes. And if you don't believe me, click on the first link in the description, which is going to give you 25 percent off click where it says get started in here select the server that you want we're gonna select the six gigabyte one why not let's click order now it's a more popular one as well over here you're gonna click where it says server version and now we're gonna search for all the mods nine go down and we're gonna select all the mods nine to the sky and now we're gonna click continue in here we're gonna make sure that we get that 25 percent off because we're using the first link in the description we're gonna click checkout and now just put your information and pay for the server and that's it you got a server set up with 25 percent off so you could play all the mods nine to the sky with your friends and of course course later on if you want to change the mod pack that your server is using you can change it with just a click of a button but use that first link in the description for 25 percent off and let's keep going with this tutorial okay so now that you know that the server that we're about to create it's just a free server that is hosted on your computer let's go ahead and unzip this file let's go ahead and extract the content of this file i'm just gonna right click and i'm gonna click extract all if you're using windows 11 you could do the same thing by just right clicking and clicking extract all and it will extract it into a folder here in the desktop if you're using windows 10 and you don't have a software to extract your zip file then i'm gonna leave this guide in the description which is a guide on how to download and install WinRAR which is going to allow you to extract the zip files like this one in Windows 11 or older OS okay so check the description of this video look for the WinRAR link and then install WinRAR and you'll be able to unzip these files now the file just extracted and extracted in my other monitor that's why you didn't see it here immediately but here it is let's go ahead and delete the zip file we don't need it anymore now let's go ahead and open this folder up and we're also going to open this folder that is inside here and as you can see we have a bunch of different files now before we do the next step is extremely important that you make sure that you have java 17 installed on your computer and no i'm not talking about minecraft java i'm talking about java as a programming language that is going to allow you to open this type of files these jar files okay it is extremely important that you have java 17 otherwise the server won't work it will crash okay so if you have java 21 or any other java your server might not work how do you check your java version that's super easy head back to your desktop and now head over to your taskbar down here click on search and now type in cmd open your command prompt now with the command prompt open we're going to type the following we're going to type java then hit a space and then type the little minus sign i don't really know what that's called and then type version in there so java space minus sign version hit enter and now we get our java version and as you can see i have java 21 don't worry if you have java 21 it's super easy to get java 17 installed and we're gonna do the process right now so the first thing you want to do is head over to the third link in the description which is our written guide on how to download and install java 17 okay that's a java that we need for all the mods to the sky to work properly and the server as well so go ahead and click on that third link you can read through the guide and look at the photos but if you just want to follow along the video scroll down to step one click on download that'll redirect you over here let's scroll a little bit up and select java 17 click on windows and now download the x64 installer which is the middle line right here click on it and that'll begin the download immediately once we have that file the file to install java go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop now before we launch the installation of this file i want to remove my older java which is java 21 to do that just come down here click on search and type auto remove programs up here 
Go ahead and open up Auto Remove Programs. And with Auto Remove Programs open, click on the search apps right on the top and type Java. That is going to bring up whatever Java you have, which in this case is Java 21 for me. So let's go ahead and get rid of that by just clicking on installing here. As you can see, Java is going to uninstall in a second. Let's just wait for our altered Java to remove. We do have a bunch of guides in our website. So if you were to need Java 21 back, you could just come to our website and search for it and you will find Java 21, Java 17, or any other version that you need of Java as well. Anyways, now that we got rid of our older Java or the Java that we don't need, we're going to go ahead and install Java 17. To do so, just double click on it. Double click in the installer of Java might prompt you with the administrator sign. Just allow the software to run and then you'll get this, the installer. Go ahead and click on next, next once again, and just wait for Java 17 to install. This should be super, super easy and straightforward. Now that Java just installed, let's go ahead and click on close. And now we could even delete the installer. Now let's go ahead and run that command once again to make sure we have Java 17. So head over to your search bar, type CMD find your command prompt. Now in here, we're going to type Java space minus sign version and hit enter. And as you can see, we have Java 17 now, which means we are good. Let's go ahead and close out from the command prompt. And now let's keep going with this guide. Now let's go ahead and open our server folder. By the way, you will notice that I took out this folder from inside the other folder. So it's easier. We just have a folder in here with all the files inside. You don't need to have two folders. So yeah, once you're in here in this folder, now you're going to double click where it says start server.bat. So just double click on it. In here, you're going to click more info and you're going to click run anyways. That's just a warning that it always gives people. And as you can see, these servers started running in my other monitor. I don't know why everything is opening in my other monitor. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. But as you can see, everything is loading in here and our server is being made and eventually it's going to stop. Okay. It's not going to go on forever. It's going to stop and I'll tell you what you have to do once it finishes. Now, as you can see, it finally stopping here saying restarting automatically in 10 seconds. So let's go ahead and close it right now. Let's just close it real quick. And now here you're going to make this folder a little bit bigger because we need to see every file in here. And the first thing that you're going to do is look for the ULA.txt file, which is this file in here. And let's go ahead and open it. It's just a text document, which means you could just double click on it. And let me drag it into this screen. There we go. What you're going to do in here is change the ULA equal false to ULA equal true. So just change that to true and now hit file, hit save close this file. Now, before we launch the server again, I have to let you know that if you double click on this text document in here, the user one right here, the last one, you double click on it, it's going to open a text document. And in here is the place where we're going to change the amount of RAM that we give this server. Now, I don't recommend that you mess with this unless you know what you're doing. For example, the server by default has four gigabytes of RAM. I'm going to change mine to 16. That is because I have a lot of gigabytes available in my computer. I have 64 gigabytes of RAM which means I could give this server a maximum because it's just a maximum. It doesn't mean that the server is going to be using 16 gigabytes all the time. It's just the maximum that the server is allowed to grab from my RAM, okay? So I'm gonna allow it to use 16 gigabytes. If you have a computer that only has 32 gigabytes of RAM, I recommend that you give your server maybe a max of eight. If you have a computer that has 16, again, eight is good. Just play around with this number. If you know what you're doing, make sure that you don't just change this number to a random number because that could cause some crashes, okay? Anyways, once you're happy with your RAM, click on file, click on save, close this document, and now we could launch our server again. Double click where it says start server.bat, or you could also use the run that BAT file, whichever one of those two you prefer will still work. So I'm just going to go ahead and double click on the start server one. And as you can see, it's loading over here. Let's just go ahead and wait for everything to finish in here. Now you might get this while the server is loading. Just go ahead and allow it. That means that later on, we're going to be able to port forward our server and we're going to be able to have people join. Now, as you can see, the server finally loaded and it told us exactly here how much it took to load and stuff. So now we have our server open and we could pretty much join our server using our local IP address. OK, so I'm going to show you how to join your own server right now. And and then later on, I'm going to tell you how to have your friends join. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually stop the server. I just wanted to make sure that I could already create it. Let's go ahead and stop it. You could just type a stop into the console and that will stop the server. And now we could close the console. Okay. Now that we created our own server, you will see that you have this file called server properties. And that is where we're going to add our local IP address for us to join our own server. So just right click on the server properties and click edit in notepad. And that is going to open this in here where you can see you have a lot of different things in here. You're looking for a specific line called server IP which is this line in here, okay? Now in this line, we're going to put our local IP address. A lot of people say you don't need to put your IP address in there, your local IP address, and you will automatically join your local server because it is whatever. I still like doing things the old ways. I know this way it works, okay? So we're gonna add our local IP address in there. Keep this text document open, and now head back to your search bar and type CMD again to open the command prompt, okay? With the command prompt open, we're going to type the following. We're going to type ipconfig 
and then we're going to hit enter. So type ipconfig and hit enter, and that is going to give you all this information. In here, we're only looking for the IPv4 address, this line down here, okay? IPv4 address, go ahead and select that number in there that appears at the end of the line. And with the number selected, just hit control C, to copy that number and now you could close out from the command prompt now come back to the server ip address and just hit ctrl v right next to the server ip to paste our local ip address now you could play around with the information here if you want to change the game mode of your server this is the place where you're going to do it these are your server properties now as you can see we have our server ip address added in there and we also have a server port which by default is 25565 that is the server port that you're going to later on port forward so if you already know how to port forward just go ahead and port forward that port and people will be able to join your server using your public ip address but i'm going to show you how to join your server now so copy the ipv4 address again the one that we just added in there you should still have it in your clipboard and now close from this text make sure you save it and now go ahead and run your server once again okay so as you can see i have the server here on the right side and i have the game on the left side so in order for us to join our server we're going to hit a multiplayer and sometimes we're going to see that our server is automatically detected in here however if that's not the case for some of you you could just click on the red connection and paste that ipv4 address that we copied earlier and that's the reason we copied it and then just hit join server or again you could just join it through here if your game detects it okay i'm going to join it through the red connection let's go ahead and click on join server and as you can see immediately we're already seeing Seeing that our ID, our game username is loading in here and our game is joining. So let's go ahead and wait for that to load. As you can see, we're now inside the server. And if we head over to our console and we OP ourselves here, so let's go ahead and type OP. It's Cuba, which is my username. By the way, if you want to OP somebody, that's all you got to type. Just OP and then their name, hit enter. As you can see, we immediately became servers ops because yeah, these are our own server now, guys. We're now inside our own server. So we're now able to join our local server. How do we have people join? How do we have our friends join from some other parts of the world? Well, for that next step, you're going to need to port forward your ports. You're going to need to port forward your IP address. You're going to need to open your ports. Now, oh, guys, the process of port forwarding is a little bit more complicated than just creating the server. And that is why we made a dedicated video for those of you that don't know how to port forward. That video should be coming up on the screen. It should be the video that you should watch next. Also, it will be linked in the description down below because port forwarding is not as simple as it sounds. If you already know how to port forward, all you have to do is open your 25565 port and you are good. But I'm assuming most of you don't know how to pour forward. So go ahead and watch that video next because we didn't want to make this video extra, extra long. But yeah, after you pour forward, you will have your friends join you in no time. I hope this video was useful. I hope you were able to create your server. If it was, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And also don't forget that if you just want to make your process super simple, just use that first link in the description and let Apex Hosting do everything for you. They will open the server, they will pour forward, they will do everything. But yeah, I will see you guys next time.